Sleep. It's such an essential part of our overall health that we spend a third of our lives doing it. While we might be used to thinking of sleep as a time for our bodies to shut down, on a pretty dynamic process, her activities related to our health and well-being continue to take place. She was in Wake and sleep are determined by the balance of opposing systems in the brain, the sleep-promoting system and the wake-promoting system. Each system has associated messengers in the brain called neurotransmitters. The sleep-promoting neurotransmitters or messengers include GABA and galanin. Many prescription agents approved for treatment of insomnia target the GABA receptor subtype and enhance the activity of GABA, which is known to globally suppress the central nervous system. Balancing the sleep-promoting system is the wake-promoting system, made up of the neurotransmitters, histamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Acting as both a sleep and wake modulator is the neurotransmitter orexin. Because both sleep-promoting and wake-promoting neurotransmitters influence the sleep state, dysfunction in either system may contribute to insomnia. In fact, chronic insomnia has been linked to hyperarousal, the presence of too much histamine of the wake-promoting system. It is in the wake-promoting system that Silenor is believed to work by binding with high affinity to the histamine H1 receptor, where it functions as an antagonist. This is thought to normalize overactive wakefulness response without disturbing other parts of the sleep state. At doses of three milligrams or six milligrams, its next day residual effects, such as grogginess, and presence of anticholinergic side effects, such as dry mouth, are comparable to those of placebo, even in the elderly. However, these side effects may increase if Silenor is prescribed at over six milligrams. Doxepin prescribed at over six milligrams is not Silenor. Increased side effects have been reported in doses over six milligrams. When Silenor is prescribed at three milligram or six milligram doses, patients can get more sleep. Silenor, a good day starts at night. Silenor is indicated for the treatment of insomnia characterized by difficulty with sleep maintenance. Silenor is contraindicated in individuals who have shown hypersensitivity to doxepin HCL, any of its inactive ingredients, or other dimenzoxepines. Serious side effects and even death have been reported following the concomitant use of certain drugs with MAO inhibitors, MAOIs. Do not administer Silenor if the patient is currently on MAOIs or has used MAOIs within the past two weeks. The exact length of time may vary depending on the particular MAOI dosage and duration of treatment. Silenor is contraindicated in individuals with untreated narrow angle glaucoma or severe urinary retention. The failure of insomnia to remit after seven to 10 days of treatment may indicate the presence of a primary psychiatric and or medical illness that should be evaluated. Complex behaviors such as sleep driving, i.e. driving while not fully awake after ingestion of hypnotic with amnesia for the event have been reported with hypnotics. These events can occur in hypnotic naive as well as in hypnotic experienced persons. Although behavior such as sleep driving may occur with hypnotics alone at therapeutic doses, the use of alcohol or other central nervous system depressants with hypnotics appears to increase the risk of such behaviors, as does the use of hypnotics at doses exceeding the maximum recommended dose. Due to the risk to the patient and the community, discontinuation of Silenor should be strongly considered considered for patients who report a sleep driving episode. Other complex behaviors, i.e. preparing and eating food, making phone calls, or having sex have been reported in patients who are not fully awake after taking a hypnotic. As with sleep driving, patients usually do not remember these events. Amnesia, anxiety, and other neuropsychiatric symptoms may occur unpredictably. Patients should not consume alcohol with Silenor. Patients should be cautioned about potential additive effects of Silenor used in combination with CNS depressants or sedating antihistamines. In primarily depressed patients,
patients, worsening of depression, including suicidal thoughts and actions, including completed suicides, has been reported in association with the use of hypnotics. Doxepin, the active ingredient in Silenor, is an antidepressant at doses 10 to 100-fold higher than in Silenor. Antidepressants increase the risk compared to placebo of suicidal thinking and behavior in children, adolescents, and young adults in short-term studies of major depressive disorder, MDD, and other psychiatric disorders. Risk from the lower dose of doxepin and Silenor cannot be excluded. Patients should not take Silenor unless they are prepared to get a full night's sleep. After taking Silenor, patients should confine their activities to those necessary to prepare for bed. Patients should avoid engaging in hazardous activities, such as operating a motor vehicle or heavy machinery at night after taking Silenor, and should be cautioned about potential impairment.